Namaste everyone, welcome to Medical Education Nepal. This is the third part of the series Everything About MBBS Entrance in Nepal. Now in our previous video we discussed about the entrance examination section and in this video we will discuss our final and one of the important topic that is seat allocation for MBBS according to the new rule. Now before I get into this uh, let me share something with you guys. I found an image on social media uh, like on different Facebook groups on different pages as well and I guess you guys might be familiar with this like if you see if you look at this image then it give us some details about like the total number of seats that have been allocated and the number of scholarship seats now before I make any statement like whether this image is real or fake let's go back to our national medical education bill <coughs> now if you look at our bill then it clearly states that the MOE will form the National Education Commission and the Commission will uh, allocate the 75% scholarship seats to different medical colleges. Now the information is that the MOE has already formed the Commission and the Commission has already allocated the 75% scholarship seats. But the question is where is the official document? Now I search the entire internet on social media and as well as the concerned government um, websites but I didn't found any information like uh, this much seats have been allocated to this college or this university or this much seats have been allocated to that college and all that you know so I didn't found any information about the number of seats however there is only the only you can say the only official notice is from the MOE scholarship notice uh, scholarship notice for MBBS and BDS merit list. Now in this notice uh, it states about the 75% scholarship seats and yes that is the only official notice we have right now for uh, the scholarship seats. Now, now on the date when MOE published its notice, uh, different uh, news portals also published an article about the number of seats that have been allocated and as well from different uh, unofficial sources, they also provided the number of allocation for the seats to different medical universities and colleges. Now when I gathered all this information, I found out that uh, everything was similar, not even similar but everything was same the number of seats in the news portals and from the unofficial sources everything was same and if you look at this then this is also one of the unofficial source but it also matches with that information so yes we can say this unofficial information is kind of like similar to the official seat allocation And if you guys want uh, to read that news portal and the news articles then you can go to our website and in the notice and information section you will find all those news articles. Okay now if we consider this as our official uh, seat allocation then we find that it has allocated like 729 seats for TU affiliated colleges and out of which 125 for scholarship. Now there will be lots of questions about like uh, the foreign seats as well as well as the Nepali seats in the paying categories as well. So let's look at our paying category. Now this is also one of the unofficial uh, information from unofficial but trusted source. Now if we consider this then we find out of the 729 total seats if we deduct the scholarship seat for TU that is 125 then we get 604 total uh, paying seats now if we deduct the paying seats from the main campus that is from IOM then we will get all together 584 paying seats under TU affiliated colleges that is under this 
raised seven medical colleges. Now, out of that 584, the foreign seats will be of 190 and the Nepalese reserve seat will be 347 and for Nepal army the reserve seat will be 47 now this seats will be allocated to the uh, army staffs army personnel you know so moving forward to KU then we have altogether uh, 910 seats out of which 109 is for scholarship and if we deduct then we will get 801 paying seats now out of this paying seat if we deduct the main campus paying seat that is 84 then we will get 717 now this 84 number is kind of controversial like uh, this 84 will be provided to all Nepalese or whether some foreign will also be involved here so as per the some unofficial information we have like 60 seats will be given to Nepalese and rest 14 seats will be given to the foreign category now from the 717 seats except the main campus rest 9 campuses we will get the foreign seats of 315 and the Nepalese seats 402 so moving, that was all about the KU now moving forward to BPKHS then as we know the 100 seats have been allocated for scholarship uh, sorry uh, full full seats and out of which 75 seats have been allocated for scholarship and the rest 25 seats will be under the paying category now it will be like bp catch decision whether uh, they will completely eradicate the paying uh, scheme uh, for the nepalese student and will give this complete 25 seats to the foreign category so we cannot say anything on that until BP cases published is next notice. For Parton Academy we have like 65 total seats out of which 49 uh, goes for scholarship and the rest 16 seats will be uh, allocated for the paying category. So that was all about our seat allocation for MBBS. Thank you.